so I've gotten a couple of those ready to go, but I still have a good many that need to be traced out. Something super awesome was just delivered. So, kind of a fail. Okay, we are all set up. Um, it's not looking too good. I mean, if this last hour like blows up, then that'll be really, really good. The venue is at Succulent Empire. I'll come inside and show you what it is. I think this is probably like up there as my most successful market. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Food. I'm at my second craft fair of the week this week and I thought I would just come on here and say thank you so much for watching and now let's jump to Path Bailey to tell you what you can expect in this vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to be prepping for two craft fairs that I have this weekend. I have one on Friday called the TPD Night Market and the other is on Saturday and it's called the Collective Corner. And Friday's market is just like a redo of last week's Friday's market that was canceled due to rain. So that should be good. I've already done that one before, but the one on Saturday, Collective Corner, I think is going to be really, really good. I know I say that about a lot of the craft fairs, but this one I really, really think is going to be good based on like other people's experiences, like other vendors I've talked to and like their social media. I think it's going to be super awesome. So I'm excited to prep for that. This week, I'm also going to try to fix up my office space to make it actually usable as an office. Right now it's kind of just like storage for inventory, but I'm gonna to try to work on it this week to like make it so that I can do like sewing in there and packing orders and just make it useful as an office space. I wanna be able to use it so I can film in it and do most of my work in there. So hopefully this week I can organize it in such a way that I can actually paint it because right now it's kind of like this light beige brown that's not like super inviting and kind of dark. So I'm hoping to go to Lowe's or something later to get some like maybe light pink paint, also kind of like dark pink, but I think light pink is definitely gonna make it brighter in there and just make it a more like fun space to work in while I'm like sewing or filming or doing anything like that. But today I'm actually gonna be focusing on embroidering on the pink sweatshirts that I got last week. And I actually already did a sample stitch out of it. And I'll show you, I actually made like a little patch kind of of it, of these little cowboy boots. I liked it so I went ahead and made a sweatshirt last night. So that's what the sweatshirt's looking like. I think it looks so good. I definitely think this is my favorite design and sweatshirt combo that I've ever made. I mean, it literally looks so good. It can't be more perfect. Let's hope that I have enough thread to finish all of this because this design is actually like pretty dense and pretty stitch heavy. Like it takes like 40 minutes to stitch out. I don't want to have to like reorder more thread like before I'm actually done embroidering all the sweatshirts I have. I do it on the lowest stitching speed possible just because I'm kind of like sketched out about my machine vibrating. I don't know if other people's machines vibrate really hard but like mine does and I've tried to do stuff to combat it but I just I don't mind taking the extra time just to like ease my mind about it. I'm also going to unbox a product that a company actually sent me that's pretty cool so I'll be excited to show you that. And this afternoon, I'm going to take a little adventure with my kids and we're going to pack up and we actually have to go to iDrive because I found a collapsible like clothing rack on Facebook Marketplace. And it's very similar to the rose gold one that I have from Store Supply Warehouse, but it's just silver. But I think like a store is like shutting down on iDrive or something like that. So they're selling all of their display items. So I'm going to go pick that up with them. Okay, so that was a lot of talking, but let me go ahead and break down my to-do list for this week. Okay, to do this week, I need to get my office ready for painting and then paint it embroider the pink sweatshirts and tag them. Um, I actually have some pretty awesome samples coming in the mail tomorrow. I think um, that I'm like super excited to show you. It's probably like my favorite product, potentially my favorite product that I've ever like added to the store, but I'm really excited about that. I need to plan a launch day for the scrunchies, totes, and the sweatshirts on my website because right now, you know, I just really sell them at the markets. I need to pick up that rack from Facebook Marketplace. I need to go and visit the Small Collective Co. If you've been watching my vlogs, I've talked about how my products and a couple of other local vendors have like a little storefront where we're gonna have our products in there for around a month. Um, and the opening was last Saturday, but I didn't get to go because of the market that I was attending. And then I need to plan for the make your own shirt activity at the big market that I have next week. I'll go into that later in the video. I won't really talk about it right now because I really want to go ahead and get started on my embroidery. So let's go ahead and hoop the shirt and then we're going to work on some other things while this is embroidering.
Cut the jump stitches and the stabilizer out of the back, but I think it looks pretty dang good. My kids are waking up from their nap, but this is all that I was able to get accomplished today, like sewing like the two sides together. So this is my chain of purple gingham. Got those done. And then here is my chain of flannel. So I got all the flannels done. So yeah, so all that needs to be done to finish these are, you know, cut them apart and then like do the burrito method and all that. But it's a good start. So I'm going to go ahead and get my kids and I'll check in when we're on our way to go pick up that rack. Me and the boys are on our way to go pick up that rack from Facebook Marketplace. It's going to be at a store on iDrive. Um, she didn't say what store. Yeah, we're going to go get the rack. But we're going to go get it and we're going to meet her behind the store so that I don't have to get out with them. So let's go get it. There's Volcano Bay. But yeah, we're almost there, but we're on iDrive. There's like a bunch of stuff around. Like there's Endless Summer. That's like a resort for Universal. But yeah, there's Volcano Bay. Back secured and put in the trunk. Now let's take it home. Boys, do you like the rack? I like the rack. That's good. I kind of have a crazy idea of maybe like painting the rack pink. Mm. Maybe if I go to Lowe's tonight to get paint for the office room, I'll also get pink spray paint to paint that. Mama. I'll think on it. But there's Dr. Doom. If you ever go to Universal, very underrated ride. I really Universal. like it. We're not going to Universal right now, but maybe this weekend. It's later in the day and I'm going to go drop off a order at the UPS store. And then I'm also going to go by Lowe's now to go pick out the paint for my office room and also the spray paint for the rack that I got. It's still back there. I'm not taking it out. But I think I'm gonna spray paint it pink. Let's do it. I forgot to mention this order was for Bridget, one of my subscribers here on YouTube. And I just wanna say thank you so much for your support. It really does mean the world for people who watch my videos, subscribe and like. It's It means everything. It really makes me feel good with all the effort that I'm putting into these. All right, I had to Lowe's. Let's go inside and get my paint. I definitely know kind of like the general type of paint that I want to get for the office room. I have like four colors that I have picked out and I just kinda of wanna see the little chip cards next to each other so let's see these are the three colors that i'm choosing from they're way more pink in person than they show up here on camera i feel like the mellow coral might be too dark and the charming pink maybe too light so i think i'm gonna go with the romance maybe hmm yeah i think i'm gonna go with the romance in terms of pink spray paint colors they really don't have any they have like these two but they have a lot of blues i like that one and i like that one in that one and that one hmm i mean i guess i was gonna go with pink anyway so i mean this one's not bad so i think that'll be fine okay so let's get this plot twist i actually didn't get the color i said i was gonna get i actually asked them there was one color that i saw online that i really liked but i didn't see the card for it and i thought it said the color was archived so i asked for that one if they could make it and it's called like faint coral and he was able to do it so i got it and i hope i like it because that was not a cheap endeavor all right let's go home now it's monday evening and i've just been like working away so i'll show you what i've been working on i just finished embroidering another cowboy boot sweatshirt 
looks good i finished sewing all of the ends together of all of my fabric for scrunchies so this is my pile of to be burritoed i've got a lot of these so that's going to be kind of a lot of work and here is my big bag of ones that i've already turned inside out that i've been working on and they just need to be elastic so i got a lot of scrunchie making that i need to get done this week and the other thing that I've been doing while that embroidery is going is I have been getting my pattern pieces ready to make a test little girl dress. So basically what I do is I have my pattern and it comes with like a bunch of different sizes. So I just trace the one I want so I don't have to cut the actual pattern. So I have all those other sizes. So I've gotten a couple of those ready to go, but I still have a good many that need to be traced out. So that's what I'm going to be working on tonight, working on the embroidery, the sewing, and getting these pattern pieces ready to go so that I can cut fabric tomorrow. <laughs> already been working on a little bit of embroidery but I want to start off today by talking about something that's been kind of like irking me today a little bit and if you do craft fairs you can probably totally relate to this but I applied to a craft fair like a little over a month ago and they said that they would send out like if you were in it or if you were on the wait list like last week and so I was expecting an email either way and they did an email and I reached out like multiple times over the email and like Instagram and I can't get anyone to get back to me. I guess that means I'm waitlisted, but it just feels like you probably experienced this where it's like you've applied to these markets and like they don't like say anything or like in their things they'll say like, if you don't hear back from us from like three weeks from now, then like that means like you didn't get in. And it's just like, if we take the time to like put the effort in to apply for these things, I feel like they should also pay us the respect to like email us back and let us know either way so it is just like kind of frustrating being in limbo where it's like you don't really know or it's like why didn't they say anything so I'm a little bit upset about that because I mean I'm just assuming I didn't get in but I would appreciate someone to say anything back to me so that's all of the negativity for today it just really irks me because I just I want to know I want to know so I can plan other things so that's all we can say about that today but let me know if you also feel the same way it just feels like they could say something they could email me back they could email us all back but so this is the product that i was going to show you that i was talking about yesterday that a company sent me so it doesn't look like much in the bag but let me tell you what it is the company is called babylon leather and they have diy like sew it yourself bag kits they have vegan leather and they also have normal leather and they reached out to me and asked if i wanted to have a bag and like maybe like make some ugc content for them so i'm not being paid to like talk about this or anything like that but i thought it was really fun because you know i like to sew and i like to embroider and i like to do a bunch of like kind of like crafty like diy stuff and i thought might as well share it with you guys to see if this is something that you guys would be interested in learning how to do i also thought it would be a good idea to try this because the dresses that i'm making for like the little girls have buttons and i've never sewn a button on before so i thought it'd be a good idea to practice like my hand sewing skills so yeah so i chose to get the pink like zip crossbody bag I'll put it on the screen what it looks like and I thought this would be a good thing to replace the bag that I use for um, my markets right now where I keep like my cash and stuff like that because that's just like a cheap one from Amazon and this one is gonna be way nicer and I'll have made it myself so let's go ahead and unpack this and maybe make a little bit of it and I'll show you the final result so this is everything that came with my kit so you've got like your body pieces I think that this must be the bottom maybe bottom top pieces zipper side pieces strap and then it comes with like the needles that you're gonna use some little like thread clippers some more hardware pieces and I guess these like cover your fingers so that you uh, don't get hurt if you poke it it's 
screwdriver. I'll be interested to see, I guess that goes with this hardware here, your thread. Don't know what I would use that for. But yeah, so those are all of the pieces. So I'm like a real visual learner. So they have like a YouTube channel that has tutorials for each bag. So I'll probably watch that while I like sew it. So let's go ahead and sew a little bit of this. I probably won't finish it during nap today because nap time is almost over, but I'm gonna try to get as much done of it as possible because I would like to have it ready by Friday to use it at the market. So let's get to sewing. Yeah, we did all that we could. Some soul, some meant to be together forever. Cause no matter how hard we try, we'll just live inside of a lie. Some days are bad while others are better. But nothing can save us now. The clock's ticking, the timer now. Let go of the questions, hold on to the lessons we'll take away from this. But give me just one. So this is what I've gotten done so far of the bag, but I'm actually gonna take a break from this because I actually meant to apply for like an in-person like store thing. So let's go do that real quick. So I'm gonna be applying to be a vendor in the coterie market in Gainesville. It's kind of like the small collective co. It's like a little storefront that has like a bunch of different vendor stuff and I'm gonna apply to have my backpacks there. I think it would be a really cute and fun little opportunity for me. So I'm going to go ahead and apply for that. The only thing that's like a little bit stressful about it is like it's like $100 plus 20% of each sale. And if you are a small business, you know that like, I mean, I don't know how other people price their things, but 20% is like kind of a lot for me. So that's kind of like, you know, a little stressful, but I'm hoping it goes good. So I'm going to apply for that. And then my kids are waking up. So I will see you this afternoon. It's Tuesday night and I've already been working on a little bit of embroidery. I actually got into the storefront that I applied to earlier. They like messaged me like pretty quickly and they were like, yes, we like that idea. So the diaper bags are going to be in that store in October. So next Friday when my parents are visiting, I'm going to drive up to Gainesville and drop off a couple of the bags. So that's really exciting. I'll be happy to see that and see how that goes. But tonight I think what I'm going to focus on is taking my pattern pieces. So I got all my pattern pieces all cut out and I'm going to trace it on my fabric and cut that out and get that ready to sew and just do some more embroidery. So let's get started. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall cut out I realized after I'd already done it that I cut a piece that was like just for if I was making the top version and I'm actually making the whole dress so I finally got all the dress pieces ready and I'm gonna sew them tomorrow so I will check in tomorrow it's Wednesday nap time and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on embroidering the cowboy boot sweatshirt some more I can only do like one more um, until like later on this afternoon because I ran out of cutaway stabilizer so I have to go to Joanne's this afternoon to get that but I'm gonna work on that and I'm also gonna begin sewing my tester dress and so I'm gonna work on that. This afternoon is I think gonna be pretty busy for me because I need to run to Joann's and get the stabilizer that I ran out of. And I also wanna get stuff to make some stroller tags and wagon patches. If you've been to Disney, you've probably seen that people have these little stroller tags on the back of their strollers that like say their name and everything like that so they can easily identify their strollers. So I thought I would make some of those, not Disney specific, but kind of like just stroller tags in general just because I want to have those at markets because I think people will maybe like those just because I'm close to Disney and people may want to get one. So I want to make that and I have like the stroller wagon. It's called like the Wonderfold wagon and it's just like a big wagon and we have like a big community of people on Facebook that have them and one of the things that people like to use to decorate them are these little patches and I have some ideas for some kind of like funny patches so I need to get materials for that. 
and I think I'm also gonna make just like normal patches like to put on clothes. My big idea that I had that I was talking about I think on Monday was I have a really big market coming up next Saturday and I don't think I'm gonna have the time or like the budget to actually do this but the market I have next Saturday is like the birthday party for the Children's Museum in Tampa and I think there are gonna be a lot of kids there. My idea was to make a bunch of heat activated patches that I would bring and I would bring a bunch of different like kid blank t-shirts so that you could pick out what t-shirt you like, like whatever color or the size, and then you could pick out a patch and I was gonna have like a make your own shirt station. But I don't think I'm gonna have the time or like the budget to like order a bunch of like blank kids t-shirts or make like a ton of patches. So I may not be able to do that for this market, like the big market next weekend, which is really disappointing because I thought that was a really super good idea. But I do still want to make heat activated patches, so I need to get stuff to do that. And also like the patches that I was talking about for the stroller wagon, also I want to make them heat activated. So I need to go to Joann's to do that. And if I have time, I would like to spray paint the rack that I got. Because I, I have the paint, I just don't really always have the time. And it's been getting darker here earlier, so I may not have the ability to like go outside and do that. I also need to take a box to UPS to send to Amazon. I have a lot on the docket today, so let's go ahead and get started by sewing this dress. So nap time has ended, but I pretty much was able to get the top part and the straps done. So I will check in later and show you what I'm doing. I made it to Joann's and I ended up not taking a box to UPS to send to Amazon just because it's really stormy looking outside. Like it looks like it's about to like go ballistic outside. So I wanted to go ahead and just get this over with and like get here before it starts to rain. And I guess that also means I will not have time to spray paint the collapsible rack that I got because storm this isn't going to be a super fun trip to joanne's because i'm not really looking at fabric i'm just kind of getting like basic supplies that i need like stabilizers and i'm also going to get some marine vinyl i'm interested to see how that goes because i've never bought it before so i don't really even know like what it comes in i know it comes on like a roll i don't know if you have to get like a long piece so i'm gonna have to figure that out so let's go ahead and get our stuff okay, here's my cart so far i've got you know some like cutaway tearaways it's like foam for the stroller tags that i'm gonna try to make and then this is also for the stroller tag to do some testing and then some heat and bond ultralight for the patches that I was talking about. And now all this stuff is to get the marine vinyl and I think I just have to ask them because it's on like a huge roll. So let's go ahead and get it. Here is my non-aesthetic Joann's haul. I got like cutaway, tearaway, this like craft foam. I got the marine vinyl and I also got some ribbon and that heat and bond to the ultra hold. So yeah, not the cutest thing ever. I also got like some fabric in there. Like it's like white fabric. It's really hard to find just plain white quilters cotton. You have to have like at least polka dots on it. But not cute, but super helpful. Now to the house. It's Wednesday night and something super awesome was just delivered. It is some clothing symbols and I'll show you what they are. Oh, kind of ripped, ripped that bag a little bit. Number one. And number two. So let's unwrap these and show you what they are. So these are pullovers that I designed and worked with a manufacturer to make. But look how stinking cute this is. I wanted to kind of add some like Florida inspired like apparel just because you know, I live in Florida. Look how stinking cute that is. So there's that one. And oh 
Oh my gosh, look how stinking cute. I feel like because the lighting in here is not very good, it's like hard to like fully take in how cute these are. But these are like gonna be so cute and they're gonna come in sizes small to 3XL. And I'll probably do a launch for these. I wanna say, okay, I guess I'm gonna announce a launch for these and the scrunchies and the other sweatshirts for next Friday. So today is, today is the 20th. So I'm gonna say next Friday, September 29th, which will be a couple of days after this video comes out. Like I guess like it'll be the Friday after the Monday. I'll do a launch day of these and yeah, the sweatshirts and these scrunchies. Editing Bailey here. I originally was planning on having the launch be Friday, September 29th, but I'm actually gonna be driving up to Gainesville that day. So now it's gonna be on the 27th and that's just the Wednesday before. I'll announce it on my other social medias too. Okay, now back to our video. I think that's gonna be so cute. So tomorrow night, I think I'm going to do the photo booth, like do like a photo shoot with these and the other sweatshirt, like the cowboy sweatshirt and then the scrunchies. And then I'll be able to upload it all to my website. But I think for the rest of the night, I'm going to focus on sewing the toddler dress. So I'm gonna work on that. But these are so cute. I'm so excited for these. So I'll do the launch, but it'll be more like a pre-sale for like these pullovers and tomorrow when I do like my photo shoot I'll show you better like what these look like on and kind of like more details of them but it'll be more like a pre-order for these so it'll be about three to four weeks after the pre-sale before I am able to ship these out but I want to make sure that you know people really really like these because I really stink and love these um, I just want to make sure that people do really like them and would like to snag one because I'm not going to have like a super large amount of them to order that if people wanted to pre-order them so they got them, they could. So yeah, so that's all I have to say about that, but let's get to sewing. I just finished sewing the skirt like where I'm gonna have to gather it but that's all I can do tonight because I had to order some thicker elastic from Amazon and that's not gonna get here till tomorrow so I think this is gonna be it for the night I can't embroider because it's like lightning and thundering outside so I think I'm just gonna chill yeah I'm gonna chill happy Thursday so my market weekend officially starts tomorrow um, so what I'm going to do today during nap time is I'm going to go ahead and cut all the stabilizer off of my cowboy boot sweatshirts and I'm also going to tag those and get them ready to take to the market tomorrow. So I want to do that. I may, if I have time, do a couple of like test patches of the cowboy boot. Let me show you. So I was going to try to make like four of these in like my five by five hoop and like test the heat and bond ultra hold on the back of these to make patches. People use like cloth to make these, but I used four layers of tearaway stabilizer and I think it turned out really, really good. So I'm just gonna try that method again. So if I have time, I'm gonna try to do that. And if that turns out good, I might make a couple more. So if I have time, I'm gonna do that. And I'm still waiting for the elastic and the button for my little girl dress to be delivered. It's out for delivery, but it's not here yet. So I may work on that a little bit if I have time, but if not, that's fine. I'll just wait until tonight to do it. But I was gonna spray paint my new collapsible rack tonight, but Ethan wants to go ahead and have the car packed for the market tomorrow. So we're gonna do that. So I think tonight we are going to set up the photo booth and take pictures of the sweatshirts and the other scrunchies and those two new pullovers that I showed you last night. And I'm so excited for those pullovers. Like you have like no idea. They're so cute, so soft and just like so perfect. Um, so we'll do that tonight. So let's go ahead and get started on prepping these sweatshirts to take to the market tomorrow. I also think I'm gonna change up how I have the clothes on the clothing rack, like on like the circular rack, because right now I have them grouped with like the signs, like having like the sizes. And I think that's really helpful, but I've gotten some feedback that maybe it'd be better to like, you know, have all of one item together. So I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna have each of its own item in their own spot and have the signs say, what the item is and the price. Cause I also think that might be helpful for people to be able to reference the price quickly instead of like having to look for the tag. So I'm gonna have to change up the signs. So I'm also gonna do that today during that.
sweatshirts and my signs ready i think i'm going to go ahead and try to do the patch situation i just did three layers of tear away i did four for the first patch that i did and i want to test it with three because with four it felt like it was like really like trying really hard to go through there um, so i'm just gonna try it with three and i'll show you what i have set up on the machine so here's what i've got on the screen and it's cutting it a little close when i do my trace but i think it's going to be fine so i'm going to go ahead and get this started i think it's going to probably take like a really long time yeah it's going to take you know, obviously double what it usually takes so i guess let's go ahead and get this started and it feels like the first time I don't have to think twice About changing my mind Not trying to forget Just trying not to regret Holding out for someone new And so I'm holding on for you Holding on for you Holding on for you So I finally finished stitching out. It is raining. It finally finished stitching out around like four o'clock. Me and the boys are just kind of like playing, but I wanted to come and check on it because it's about to storm. But I think it looks pretty good. There are a few details that maybe are not as crisp. I don't know if that's related to just using stabilizer or just using like three layers of stabilizer, but I will go ahead and get these all torn out. This is the one that had four layers of the tearaway and these are the ones that have three. You can definitely tell they're a little bit thinner and i definitely think i guess in the future i should use some sort of fabric because definitely some details were lost like in the stitch out of the ones that were just like done in the cutaway i don't think they look bad like i think they look pretty good and definitely usable but i think in the future yeah maybe i should do do it on fabric because i mean like with this one i don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell Let's see if it'll focus so there's a little bit of gapping right here and I've never had that happen before. So, kind of a fail, but a good test. Um, the four with the tearaway was really, really good. But I guess, like, you know, might as well just get a piece of fabric. I was just trying to avoid having to go back to the store to get fabric. So, I may not work on that until next week. So, the patches will just have to wait until another day. My friends are getting married, but I'm just getting by. So I'll stay up watching Moonrise Kingdom when I miss you sometimes Am I lying to myself remembering how we felt at 16? And that's the problem, not being honest with yourself and I'm gonna probably leave here around like 3 30 to get there to set up because setup begins at 4 and I'm probably not gonna do too much between now and then because I don't want to start like getting really into a project or something like that so probably what I'm going to do is do a little bit of computer work I'm gonna edit the photos that we took yesterday and I cannot believe I forgot to take a picture of myself wearing like the cowboy sweatshirt so that's really annoying. I'm going to have to like get the photo booth out again, probably like on Sunday. But when Ethan comes home to help me finish packing the car, like with the stuff like on my hitch, 
I'm gonna have him take a quick picture of me with the sweatshirt on. Um, probably gonna be a little bit hot outside when we do that, but I think it's gonna be best to like take it outside where the lighting's good. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna try to edit those photos and I think I'm also gonna work on editing this vlog just because it does take me a long time to edit the vlogs. But before I do all of that, I thought I would show you my progress on the kid dress. And I thought I would also go over what I pack in my, I call it my go bag. If you've ever watched like a doomsday prepper show, that's kind of like what they call it. But this is my um, craft fair go bag and I'll show you what I put in it. It's just kind of like all of my essentials and what I think is important to bring. But this is the dress, how I've got it so far. There are a couple of snafus, but I'm gonna try to hold it up so you can kind of see it. Like, I think it looks so cute. I don't know if you can even tell in the camera like how cute it is. So there it is and I'm not done the buttons. I'm not done the buttons yet. But I finished the elastic on the back. So it's got like an elastic back band. But yeah, I still need to finish the insides. And then I need to add the button. And then I need to like hem the bottom of it. But I think so far, I've been trying to like hold it up so that you can kind of see the shape of it. I think so far it looks so cute. I feel like the directions were written wrong. So like the way that I did it the first time, it made it so that the skirt was inside out. So that was really frustrating. So I had to do a lot of seam ripping and trying again last night and I don't work very well late into the evening. So I'll try to finish that maybe this weekend or early next week, but let me show you what I packed in my bag. This is my backpack that I take whenever I do craft fairs. It's actually a sample of a bag that I wanna come out with in the next go around when I order bags, but I have to have like a lot of money to order these um this and like a couple of other patterns i have to have like five figures worth of cashola and i don't have that on hand so i don't know when these are going to come out but like hopefully i don't know if they'll come out this year or next year but we'll see how everything goes but that's what this pattern is if like you're confused because it has like the goo goo goods label on it but okay that's besides the point but just in case you were confused, this is a sample for a pattern that I want to do in the future. Okay, let's go on. So in my big pocket, I keep my pad and my pad just has like my Shopify POS that I use, you know? So that's how I check people out is I use my pad. So this is definitely the most chaotic thing I have in my backpack. And if you've watched my vlogs, then you know that like I whip this out, like, you know, I have to at every craft fair. It has basically all of my tools that I need. I've got my scissors, I've got my screwdriver, and just my little screws and things that I need to put together, my displays and everything like that, and my chalk pins in here. And apparently some uh, duct tape trash that I need to throw away. So there's that. I should probably actually put this in a real bag or get like a little toolbox bag, but this serves me fine. And then I've got my crossbody bag. I tried to finish that other one this week, but my time just like was very limited and it did not like include like finishing that. It was really fun. It was very difficult to work on while trying to like film it just because I was trying to make sure I was in frame. But I didn't finish it. I'm kind of almost done with the top part, but I'll have to work on it next week. But in my little bag that I wear around my waist to check people out, I've got my Shopify POS. I've got like my like cards that I need. Like these are like my personal cards. It's kind of like my little wallet. And then I've got my cash that I keep on hand for change. So there's that. And then duct tape because my tent is still broken and I've not taken the time to um, put it back together with the replacement parts. I'm going to have to have Ethan help me with that probably this weekend, probably Sunday. Um, just a time thing, but I have it. They finally sent it. I got them like a couple of days ago, but I need to fix it. And then we've got a battery, which will make sense when I show you this other thing. So I've got a Ryobi inverter and basically this is what I use to charge things and this is my lighting source. So my little twinkly lights that I plug in, I plug them in using this so I don't need anyone else's electricity. Um, so I've got that one and I've got an extra battery for that and I actually have a third battery but I'm charging that right now. So I keep a lot of batteries just in case. 
And then in this pocket, I don't usually keep anything in this pocket, but right now I've got this thing. Not really relevant to the craft fair, but I have a vendor friend who needs help replacing a button. And so here's my buckle thing. And then in this pocket right here, I keep kind of like all of my clamp accessories like for filming. So this is what I use when I'm getting kind of like the corner shots of like people like coming in my booth. It's just like clamps on to my tent and it has like a little phone uh, adapter too. And then here's my phone adapter for the little like handheld tripod that you're actually on right now. But yeah, that's all I got in there. And then in this pocket, I keep all of my chargers. So I've got my camera battery charger and an extra battery. And then I've got like an iPod chart, not an iPod, an iPad charger and my phone charger. And then I also keep something very important in here. Wet one hand wipes. Very important, you don't know. You could touch something like really yucky when you're kind of like in a random place. Okay, so that's all I keep in there. And then the last pocket. Never actually had to put sunglasses on, ever. Um, but I have to keep them just in case. But yeah, okay, let's go get to editing some photos and editing this vlog. water and my sugar-free Red Bull. I don't drink a lot of water during the day. Um, not a big water drinker, more of a Coke Zero drinker. But for some reason, when I like fill this up or I'm like going somewhere, I will like drink this whole thing like on the drive over. I don't know why I do it. I don't know if it's like impulsively, reflexively, um, but I drink it all and then I have to pee like a lot when I get there and throughout the night. So I'm gonna try to refrain from doing that too much. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there. Um, so I just need to put on my playlist. I don't know if anyone else comes up with like a specific set of like songs that they listen to to like get hyped up for something, but I have a playlist on like Apple Music called Moody Markets that gets me fired up and ready to go it's nothing like crazy it's more just like music I listen to in like high school or kind of like random songs that I like like it's got let me go to it like here are just like some of the songs that I have on there nothing too crazy they're just kind of like older songs that I used to listen to a lot and it definitely like gets me like in the mood to like have some fun and do stuff got a lot of panic at the disco in Paramore and I got some MGMT on here stuff like that but it definitely like gets me ready to go so it is a spicy one out there so I've got my fans so I guess let's go ahead and do it also if this one doesn't go good I probably won't do this one again okay now we can go Since life is boring So 
to bring those pullovers. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but um, Ethan thought it'd be a good idea for me to bring the pullovers and if people were like, oh, like, uh, what about those? I could say, oh, like they're pre-order and like talk about that and stuff. But I've got my diaper bags here. I think that my setup has definitely gotten a lot more like condensed and like easier. This is definitely like my big, like this garden, like plant stand thing is definitely like my crux. Um, so I would like to try to figure out how to not have that. Um, I have a lot of space on this rack, but that's okay. And I've got my table all set up. I thought this idea to maybe like display the scrunchies in front like this to entice people to look inside. But I think that that's looking cute so far. Obviously don't have my lights on because it's still pretty bright outside. Also, I'm gonna tell you something. It's a little stinky over here too. First I have the cigar bar a couple of times and now it's, I guess it's more like kind of like a like goose. Ooh, maybe because there's a lot of geese around here and like ducks and stuff like that but I'm really excited about how it looks so I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to get my POS and everything together so I'll see you in a second also there are a ton of vendors here way more than usual because usually we're just like on this like one side of the street but now they're like on the other side too so hmm, maybe that's a good sign I don't know sad to go ahead and whip out the lights Cute. Yeah, it's not too dark yet, but I wanted to charge my phone. I like I used a little inverter, so I needed to turn it on anyway. So I thought I would just go ahead and get the lights on. Looks cute. Yeah, people are still setting up. It's already started. It's like 6.02. People are still setting up. That's why you gotta get here two hours early, am I right? Okay, let's see if we get any visitors. What's funny is like the vendors beside me I think like confuse these like little kids because they're very very decorated for Halloween and like while they were setting up before they had any of their products out the kids were like oh my gosh like Halloween can we come back 
here. Like to their parents, like, oh yeah. But it's just like photography stuff. Seven o'clock check-in. Um, we've had zero sales, which is fine. Um, but it seems like it's picking up a pretty good bit. I've had a couple people come in here. Um, I think there are definitely gonna be a lot of people later on tonight, hopefully, because it does look like people are starting to pile in. Um, so that's good, but I'm gonna set you up in the corner and see what we can capture.
Happy Saturday, so I'm about to leave the house to go to the Collective Corner Market. Loading is from 9 to 11, and right now it's 9.08, so I think it should only take me about like 15 minutes to get there. Um, I did not do a super good job packing my car last night. I was doing, I don't know, I guess I was like getting like a little wild, so it looks a little bit chaotic and hectic in here, but I think it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be a fine loadout. I've got a lot of time. Um, but yesterday it was almost a complete bust until the last like 30 minutes. In the last 30 minutes, I got a pre-order of the Manatee Fan Club shirt and also sold like a Halloween cookie shirt. So still not the best. I'll put my sales, maybe I'll put it over here. I'll put my sales and what I spent on the booth right over here. So wasn't great. I think I maybe came out a little bit negative. Well, probably just like a little bit probably just broke even because I had to pay you know the booth fee and then I had to pay for parking downtown and there was also like these like teenagers who were doing like fundraising for something and so like, I gave them like a couple bucks so probably kind of just broke even lost money a little bit probably based on like buying the shirts and stuff like that um so not the best i think this one hopefully should be good i think collective corner is generally really really good so i have high hopes i've got my water kind of stuck underneath this chair got my water for the day and i've got my sugar-free red bull so i'm gonna pop that and get my music playing and let's head over and set up I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go about you but sometimes I do cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first all of the turns that I had to unlearn back to the surface the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you till first avenue when I do I am all set up and I actually have like an hour to spare until the market actually starts so I might give you guys like a tour of the whole area and show you kind of like what the situation is here but yeah that's actually really exciting I've never had like this much time to spare before the market actually starts so I don't really know what to do with myself I don't know if I'm just like getting more efficient or if I just had too much time Maybe I just had too much time, because technically I guess I, well, I guess I set up less than an hour and a half. So go me. <laughs> the venue is at Succulent's Empire. I'll go inside and show you what it is. Obviously Succulent's. Yeah, it's like a big plant store. Pretty cool. But we're all set up in the parking lot. I feel like when you see the parking lot, it doesn't seem like it would hold that many people, but but it's crazy. There's so many people. Let's just go down this way. Got some greeting cards, some bags. Very, very cool. Pet apparel. All types of fun stuff. So keep going back this way. Very cool. I love y'all sign. Very, very cute. Thank you. This is what I follow. Instagram, the chit chat bar. So cute. Maybe I'll get a drink. I don't want to get 
than the spot they had me unloaded in, so kind of funny, kind of annoying. Um, but something kind of funny is like the vendor's behind me and I'm not gonna say anything because I'm not like, I'm not like very uh, confrontational, but they have like three people bending and they all have their chairs set up very much kind of like in my space, like right beside my table. And so essentially like I can't set up a chair because they're all right there and I'm not, I can't really say anything because I don't know. Maybe they'll see when I try to open my chair that I need them to scoot forward. But like literally all three of them are just right up on my table. So who knows if I'll be able to sit today. But we'll see. We still have about 45 minutes until it starts. I'm excited. I'm ready. I hope this is good. I think it's going to be good. I'm hopeful. Also, I'm not quite sure how I want to display this. Because last night I had both that and the manatee one. Like back there. But I have my sign up. And I decided to put the manatee on the mannequin. So I guess it's just going to live there. Until I come up with a better idea. Maybe I'll, I, I thought I may put her in that corner, but then it blocks this whole section. I may need to like move the mannequin out a little more so that people can like browse back there better. Maybe I'll put it in the corner. I don't know. I'll think about it. So I have about 30 minutes until the actual market starts. So I'm just like straight chilling, hanging out here. Um, they've got some early people coming by and shopping. Um, some people have come in here and like checked some stuff out. Um, I think it's going to be really successful. I don't want to like jinx it. I do think that day markets definitely do better than night markets because I think more people do come out. Even though it is kind of a hotter day today. Um, not as hot as it usually is actually. It's like in the high 80s I think. But I've got high hopes. So let's get this started in 30 minutes. Or now. Who knows? Also something that I meant to mention that happened last night that would have been a catastrophe was when I was driving home. I was like, you know, driving home listening to music. And I remembered, I was like, I, I don't think I asked the girl who pre-ordered the manatee sweatshirt. I was like, I don't think I got her address to ship it to her. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, thank gosh she got an email receipt so I was able to email her. But now I know if someone pre-orders, I need to get their address because that's the only way I'll know how to ship it to them. But yeah, it's... 11.46, so I still got some time, so I'll probably just hydrate and hang out. One o'clock check-in, it's going pretty good. I sold a sale t-shirt, and then I have one person who bought two shirts and the toddler sweatshirt, so I'm at, like, I guess, like, around, like, $75 for the first hour, and I still have four hours left, so hopefully it just trends upward, and we do good today. We out here. And I'm ringing it for you.
three o'clock check-in, so the last hour was pretty slow. No sales. It's really fine. We still have like two more hours to go. My goal is to try to break 200. I think I already said that, but that's my goal. I would really like to do that. But I'll show you what I've been working on while there's been like a little lull. Okay, it might be a little bit hard to see, but here's my very, very poorly uh, made like diagram of how I want to start setting up my booth in the future because I like having the two racks, but I think it's like, I mean, especially because I'm like right beside other people, like I'm surrounded like on all three sides. It makes it like a little bit cramped because I can't like really like stick them out too far away from each other. Um, so I think that's going to be maybe a little too cramped for 10 by 10 spaces. So my thoughts are moving forward, just using the one circle rack in the space. I mean, it'd be good to have the two because I'm gonna be doing like a, an event where I'm gonna have like a 10 by 20. So I think it's good to still have the second one. But so here's my rack and I wanna get these new little like rectangle racks that you've definitely probably seen people on TikTok have that are like collapsible, like they fold in together. And I thought about maybe getting like two of those and I can put like my cups because I've got a bunch of new cups coming and hats. Like put them on both the sides and then the tumblers I already have. And I'm actually having a grid wall sent to me by a company that wants me to make some UGC videos. So I thought I could put the grid wall there and the grid wall could have my bags hanging on it and my scrunchies. And then I'd have my table. I don't know if I still want to use like the same six foot table or maybe I should get like a smaller table. But yeah, this is my really, really good drawing of the setup I think I want to use. But, I mean, obviously, like, I'll have to wait until, like, I've made enough money to buy these racks because these are not cheap. I may just have to get, like, one and save up to get another. But, yeah, that's what I have so far. I think that'd be a really, really good idea. This is not very, uh, to scale at all. But I think it's a good start. Four o'clock check-in. I think I sold just one tumbler in that last hour. Um, so hopefully this next hour goes better. It is actually like really hot this morning. It started out pretty cool and it kind of seemed like it was going to be like a foolish day, but it's like really, really hot. So let's hope this last hour that we break that 200. Let's do it. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no It's an awful house. No one it's Here's my final Sweaty Hot Car Chat of this video. Um, I finished packing the car and it was kind of acting like it wasn't going to shut. It definitely had some creaky noises and probably that, uh, that crate that has like the diaper bags in it possibly a little bit cracked. I mean there's definitely room so I don't know why it's like acting like that but that's besides the point. But that market actually turned out to be pretty good. I think I'm trying to remember what I made. I have to, I have to remember. I also had like some cash transactions, so I'll put it up right here. What I made versus what I spent. But I definitely made my booth bunny back, which is really, really good. I think this is probably like up there as my most successful market. I think I definitely broke $200, which I've not done often. I talked to the organizer at the end of it, and she was like saying that. Um, like a bunch of people were saying that like, this market season has been really slow for them and even like the person behind me who like she did like crochet stuff and everything like looked so cute she said that she only made ten dollars today which is crazy to me um so that's unfortunate for her i didn't make ten dollars i made more than that thank god um and actually like a lot of people started packing up early which i'm like not a big fan of like the people beside me were probably packed up around like 30 minutes before it was actually the end of the market and i got two sales like within the last like 10 minutes so i'm a firm believer of like staying put up because the person that bought someone bought a shirt kind of like in the last like five minutes she had just gotten off of work and she was like headed over here and she didn't know that it ended at five like she kind of thought like we were still like either setting up or like we're going to be there for a little bit longer. So I do feel like, you know, there are some people that, you know, are leaving work or like kind of like busy doing something that want to head over here and check stuff out. So like if you're packed up before the event is done, it's just like kind of not fair to like the other vendors in a way because like you're breaking down while they're trying to like work. Um, and just like people are wanting to like shop, possibly you. So like I just feel like you should always stay fully set up until the actual event is done and over with. That's just my little spiel about that. But I am really, really happy about how today went. It definitely makes up for yesterday, obviously. 
but I really enjoyed this event. I'm gonna have, I think I've signed up for two more of these, one in October and then I think one in November. So I'll be excited about that because hopefully those will be a little bit cooler because today turned out to be way hotter than I think any of us were expecting. So hopefully when it starts to cool down. Also I think one of those is, night, is a night market. So that should definitely be cool because yesterday it was kind of chilly down there by the lake. So hopefully, you know, hopefully it starts to cool down and more people get out. There were a lot of people here today, but I think there were just kind of a lot of people who were out there just kind of like looking. And that's fine too. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Next week I have a really big market. I have the Glazer Children's Museum birthday bash in Tampa. And my parents are actually going to be in Florida to watch the boys so that me and Ethan can actually go to this together. So it's going to be super awesome that I'm going to have help next time. Because like, I mean, I do get help like if I need it. Like there are other vendors here that I know and are like friends with me that will come and like help me if I need it. Mostly with like my tent. And I think I need to get a second tent. I'm gonna get an ABC Canopy tent, I think, because I'm gonna need a second one because I applied to a market in December that I'm gonna be in a 10 by 20. So I'm gonna need the second tent. So I'm gonna get an ABC Canopy and just like have this one be my extra tent. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited that Ethan's gonna be there with me. I think it's gonna be a good event for me because I do have the kind of like a lot of like mom inspired things and kind of like, I also think little girls will probably like little t-shirts and like scrunchies and stuff like that. So I definitely have high hopes for that one. I know I say that about all of them, but I really do have for this one. And I think it was like $100. So I need to sell a couple things to make that back and to make up the gas money and everything like that. But hopefully you watch next week's vlog because next week's vlog will include all of that. But yeah, if you liked this video and want to see some more behind the scenes small business content and craft fair videos, then just be sure to like this video and subscribe. And I really appreciate y'all being here. This has been a wonderful journey to share with you guys. Sometimes it's not positive. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's kind of negative. Like yesterday it was kind of a negative. But overall, I have met so many really wonderful people and this is just like fun for me. But I really hope you have enjoyed being part of this journey with me and learning and growing with me. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. And just thank you so much for being here and sharing with us with me. But yeah, hope you love it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cause baby in your absence life is poor